Today you're going to use a simulator to answer a couple questions. First, you're going to click on and open the simulator. Press the play button. Come down to the bottom and click ultraviolet. So we have our different types of electromagnetic radiation along the bottom. Microwave, which we're not going to use. Infrared, which means heat. Visible, which means light and ultraviolet uh, a wavelength that's just shorter than light. On the right side over here, we have different types of gases that make up the atmosphere. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, nitrogen, and ozone. So right now we have carbon monoxide selected, but we can go through and we can select different molecules that make up our gases. To turn on, this light source, you slide this tab, and the energy is represented by those purple balls of light that fly out of the end of the flashlight, we'll call it. Notice how the light is passing through this molecule, oxygen. So when ultraviolet light interacts with oxygen, it just gets transmitted straight through. Right now I'm going to show you how to graph using Google Sheets. Now this is very easy to do. First thing, as always, you're going to make a copy. Then we're going to take a look at our data. We have the day and new hospitalizations. So starting at day zero, there was no new hospitalizations due to the coronavirus. On day one, there was 496, day two, 605, and so on. To make a graph, you're going to select your data by dragging and selecting it all. Then go to Insert, Chart, and Google Sheets basically fills out everything you need to know. It gives you the title of the chart. It gives you the y-axis title, the x-axis title. It gives you your scale and it fills in your graph for you. This is a line chart. You can change the type of chart that you want. You can change it to a bar graph. You could change it to just a straight line, which we've already seen. You could try to change it to a pie chart. I'm not sure how that's going to look. As such, it doesn't give us very good information. I think the best chart to use is probably the line graph.